Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Seth Amen. Welcome back to another video. Today, folks, I am in Atlas and I am going to be going through every single creature in the game. So, if you folks enjoy this video, please do not forget to support me on the channel by hitting that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new for more similar content from myself. And if you have just subscribed, why not check out some of my other videos here on this channel? Who knows? You might just enjoy them. And don't forget to hit that bell icon so that you get notified when I upload new videos. Also, for those interested, you can always find me on the Sethtopia Discord. Links to this, of course, can be found down below in the video's description as well as in a pinned comment. So, with that out of the way, as I said, we will be looking at all of the creatures that you can find in Atlas. Now, there are a total of around 50 creatures and... Uh, boy, has it been a pain in the rear end to get to this point. So... Obviously, Atlas does not have a single player, meaning I had to rent out a server. And then, obviously, there are no codes um, in terms of spawn codes anywhere on the internet. So, then I had to go through the game's files to find all of these creatures. And then figure out how to use the spawn commands and turn them into codes and all that good stuff. Anyways, I have managed to get most of the creatures, I say. Simply because there are a variety of fish. There's one right there which has not been tamed. And then there are some water creatures that immediately die after being tamed. Not sure why that happens. But that is the shark that does that. The dolphin. Obviously the whales are a bit derpy. And uh, is there anything else? It's primarily the water creatures that I had issues. So this is the giant turtle. Apparently it's giant. But as you can see it looks like the turtle from arc obviously this game is developed by the same company i'm not quite sure why they prefer to call themselves for the purpose of this game grape shot i would have liked it if they stayed as wild card but whatever this one is the horse it does actually look like a horse and i do like that but the fur on it looks very <laughs> very non-fur like so we're going to go through the attacks. Obviously, not all of these creatures are tameable, but some of them, or the vast majority, will be tameable from what I can tell. So, very similar movement on this horse as with the Equus. It is quite fast, as you can see. I am going to go through their movements if possible. Some of them, obviously, cannot be mounted as they are quite small. Um... And obviously, we'll look at all the other bits and pieces. These are the stats for the horse. Obviously, they are all different levels. Uh, it's just the way I've managed to get the codes to work. So, I use the summon variety uh, uh, version of the code. This one is the giant snake. And I don't like its face. Its fangs are sticking out. So, they really need to work on that. I do love reptiles. Uh, other than that, it looks pretty good. Cool, and this tail looks pretty amazing as well. I do like how they went with the design. It's got the cobra thing going on. Over here we have the rattlesnake, which has a couple of things on his face. I don't know why that's a thing, but again, um, it's just one of those creatures that you can find in the game. Now, what I like about the snakes, they are big but small enough. For them to be difficult to spot in tall grass. So this will be a pain fighting these things off. I can already see that. As you can see they do have torpor. This is the wolf and actually looks pretty darn cool. It looks better than the one in Ark if you ask me. I quite like the way this wolf looks. I like the face. It looks very canine like. Really really like this wolf. So we'll look at its stats in a bit. We'll try out its moves and see what it can do. So that's its bite. The buttons on the creatures are somewhat different. So some of them have the X, C, and some of them have, like, I think, the letter T that gives them abilities. You'll see later on. But I'm just going to go through the moves. It does jump as well. It is quite a good jumper, as you can see. And that's pretty darn fast for a wolf. I'll have to give it that. Now, obviously, apparently it has a spot for a saddle. 
makes me wonder if it's going to have a saddle or not. It'll be interesting to see later on in the game. Now, over here we have the kitty cat. This one's apparently a tiger, and it does not look like a tiger whatsoever. And I don't know what's going on with its front paws, why they are facing outwards. It looks like it's got a bit of a medical problem, but hey, who am I to judge? Hopefully they fix that. It does not look like a tiger to me. So, let's see what this one can do. Okay. This one kind of reminds me of the... Ooh, what's it called? Uh, from Ark. Uh, hold on a second. <laughs> um, oh, what's that creature called? Uh, that you find in the in the redwoods. Oh, dear me. Yeah, now I remember. It's the Thylo. So this one really does remind me in terms of movement of the Thylo. It has the same animations. Maybe it's modeled after that, but it does not look like a tiger. Next one is a lion, which again does not look like a lion to me whatsoever. Let's look at the stats for this creature. And as you can see, the stats are significantly lower than what you see in Ark. So this one is a lion. Again, it does not look like a lion whatsoever to me. Apart from the fact that it's got a mane, it doesn't look like a lion. I like the sound for it, but it does remind me of the saber tooth. Okay. I like the drool, and I don't know what this one is. <laughs> That's supposed to be a stock button or something. I have no idea what this move is supposed to be. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I, I'm not feeling it. I don't know what it's meant to be. Maybe it's a stock button, maybe. I mean, this is still a work in progress. And a lot of the menus, a lot of the things actually look and feel very arc-like. Uh, saying that, when I did go through the files trying to find the creature files, I did spot that there were some files, some leftover files for Aberration and even Scorched Earth. So this is the pig, and I don't understand why its tusks are pointed towards its skull. Because of those things growing bigger, it will commit suicide just by age. <laughs> yeah, but this is the pig. It doesn't do anything else but a chomp. And when it runs, it holds its tail up like the Deodon. So very similar to the Deodon, probably even modeled off of the Deodon. These were the stats. Whoop, need to be careful there. I have packed them quite close, as you can imagine. There are a lot of creatures to go through. This one's apparently the ostrich. It uh, doesn't really look like an ostrich. And as you can see, the camera angles are a bit derpy as well. So this one's supposed to be an ostrich. I kind of like what they did with this. Uh, I like the feathers and everything. I like the unique design. Very fast creature. It does have a little nib. Nibble. And it does jump. Boy, does it jump. <laughs> now, I've played around with some of the creatures, but not with all of them. Uh, obviously, it was an absolute pain to get these guys spawned in. Something always happened and went wrong. Something like this, as you can see, I get stuck on them. Not fun. Let's try that again. Like this, maybe? Okay, perfect. Now, on to these creatures. We're going to start with the vultures. Actually, no, let's start with the scorpion, because this one's a bit derpy. <laughs> it looks amazing. In terms of design, it looks a lot better than the scorpions on the Ark. I don't think you're meant to tame these things. As you can see, my knees are scraping onto the sand. These are the stats, so these are probably things you'll have to kill and are not meant to be tameable, although it does have a saddle. I'm not sure if you guys know if this is meant to be tameable or not, but I don't think it is. And as you can see, when I went into the grass, very difficult to spot. So, another dangerous creature to look out for. And I do like that it is more accurate to what a scorpion looks like than the ones on Ark. These are the vultures. Uh, obviously, as you can see, quite similar to the ones on Ark. It is a shoulder mount. Oh, 
camera's gone weird again. <laughs> so let me just zoom in. We're going to have a look at all of the creatures, especially the shoulder mounts. There is one that I specifically like a lot. Like, it, it's really nice. Uh, obviously not the vulture. I wouldn't mind having a vulture, but I do not like how they are slightly inclined and not vertical on the shoulder. kind of makes look like the vulture is about to fall off. And these are the stats for the vulture. I do have two of them because, well, as I said before, other creatures got in the way and started creating chaos and everything. So we have the seagull over here. These are the stats for the seagull. This is, again, another shoulder-mounted creature. So you carry it on your shoulder like so. Okay, let's have a look at this. It does not look half bad. They are somewhat large, and I'm guessing that would be quite painful in time on the back. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it looks quite interesting. I really like the seagull. There we go. And what am I going to go with next? I'm going to go with the... Um, let's go with the rabbit because it doesn't do anything. So over here we have the rabbit. Uh, you can find these throughout the map, actually. It looks pretty nice. I I do like the model for this one. It looks alright. You can't pick it up. You can't do anything with it. Um, over here we have the giant ant. Again, I'm guessing this is not a tameable creature because you cannot even access its inventory. But I did force tame it to show you guys what it looks like. And it looks pretty darn amazing. I do like the giant ant. Um... Now, there is a creature somewhere around here that I want to show you. Ah, there it is. This is a giant bee. Another creature in the game. Quite a pain to tame this thing. <laughs> it's so tiny to actually tame. Uh, obviously, I'm guessing, again, this is a non-tameable creature because I can't even access its inventory. But, I just have it here to show you guys. And another one that is not tameable is this, which is apparently the cave bat. Um, very similar to the Onyx in our both in movement and as well as in design. A lot less furrier, if you ask me. But a lot more scarier as well. Um, so let's go with the monkey. So, let's have a look at the monkey. This is the monkey, again, another shoulder-mounted creature. This one actually looks nice on the back. I do like the way it looks. Very, very nice. I do like it. So let's put this guy down. I'm going to put them somewhere here so I know what I looked at. The other creature will be this one, which I do like. It is a crow. And I would not mind having a crow in this game. Maybe they should put crows in Ark as well. Another thing that I don't have here that I noticed is you can have NPC humans that work for you. Obviously, they will require gold, and the way you get them is by taking out the ghost ships and then saving some uh, the people that are swimming around the wreckages. You save them by putting a gold coin in your zero slot and then basically passively taming them as you do in ARC. Uh, after that, they do require one gold coin per hour or two hours or something like that. This one's a chicken, and uh, I'm guessing this one is modeled off of the dodo. Right here. These are the stats for the chicken. Uh, one thing I did notice <laughs> was that I did find a chicken egg on the ground. I picked it up, and then I got attacked by the chicken. So, do you be careful for the chickens. Uh... They are, well, friendly until you pick up their eggs. So there we go, that's a chicken. Now obviously, as you saw there, you carry that in your hand. Over here we have the parrot. All the noises just make me look. I do realize there are a lot of creatures. The parrot looks amazing. I like the very long tail feathers. And this one seems to look alright on the shoulder. Another creature that was really annoying to force tame. It is quite mobile. Um, parrot? Okay, I'm guessing it's flying somewhere at the top. 
like that. There we go. Okay, fair enough. If that's what you want to do. Come on, down you go. Oop. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> I did decide to go for a female character this time around. Uh, I just thought I'd play around with it. I mean, this is a server that I am primarily testing on. it. I might wipe the server. I don't even know. I don't know. I mean, at the moment, I'm not too sure what to make of the game in its current stage, to be fairly honest. But that's just my personal opinion. And this one is my personal favorite. And this is why. <laughs> you get to hug it. And it looks extremely cute. I do like these penguins. I actually like them more than the Kairuku. Maybe they should put these in Ark as well. I don't know what function these penguins have. But they are pretty cool. And I do like the way you carry them around. So we'll put you down there. And so next one is the crocodile. Actually, we didn't look at the stats for it. I mean, I don't know if it makes any difference. Uh, do bear in mind they are different levels, so I couldn't really get them to spawn in at level 1. But this is the crocodile. Quite different from the creatures in Ark. A lot of remodeling has gone in, but this is probably remodeled off of the Sarko, I'm guessing. And these are the stats. We'll take it for a spin both on land and on water. We'll see what they do. And what I do like is that it shows you how much it increases a stat before you actually attribute a point into it. So maybe that should be put into arc as well. That would be a good thing to add to arc. So decent speed on land. It's only got a chomp and that's about it. It doesn't do anything else. I'm trying all the buttons out. Okay, no, it doesn't do anything else. Overall, it's pretty decent on land. Let's see what it's like on water. Oh dear, this thing is fast. There are the sharks that I tried to spawn in that just died out completely. And so, once you stop moving, it still does the wiggle wiggle. And you can actually dive. This is interesting because normally when I try to swim in... My creature just wants to float. Oh, uh, my creature. My character just wants to float to the surface. So I guess you saw the shark as well, although it was dead. <laughs> but that's. That's alright. We've got plenty of creatures to go through. I'm gonna try and get through them as fast as I can, as there are loads to go through. Now, next we have the cows. So this would be the bull. As you can see right there. These are the stats for the bull. Now, this one you can ride, and it does have an attack button. So, it's very similar to the Megalosaurus. Megalosaurus. Probably butchered the name. But, as you can see, it does have a horn attack. And, uh, I did try and kill a cow and ended up getting attacked by a bunch of these guys. So, do bear that in mind. If you attack the cows or, uh, one of the bulls, you will pretty much aggro all of the creatures in the game of the species and it's a pain to deal with you can outrun them and uh, eventually they will lose aggro but yeah just bear that in mind oh stupid stupid wild animals see that's been my problem the whole day this is a cow you cannot ride it but you can milk it if you have a bucket i'm not quite sure what you would do with the milk and the cow looks kind of cute it's got a bit of a uh, fringe going on interestingly and as you can see the fur quality I'm not too impressed with and that seems to be a common thing on most of these creatures next up we have the bear and this one looks really nice it really does look like a bear I do like it it looks pretty darn cool much like the bear on our if you sprint and held the sprint down, it just ends up accelerating more and more and more and more. So it's got the bite, paw attack, and the stand. I kind of like the way this looks. And this bear actually looks pretty darn cool. I do like it. All right, now these are the stats for the bear. 
I just wanted to see what it gets when you do level them up. Very interesting. Next up, we have this creature over here, which is a mermaid. I haven't seen any in the wild, but I thought I'd spawn one in. I do like the way it has been designed, and maybe these could be added into Ark as well. Especially for the maps that have water, such as the island and maybe Ragnarok. That's something that could be added. Uh, I've noticed that a lot of these creatures do look like they have taken inspiration from a lot of mods. I do like the way this creature looks. Uh, obviously, you can't not ride it. I'm guessing you would not be able to tame it either. And over here, the only creature that did manage to survive, uh, if I can find it. See, this is what happened. I keep floating to the top. We have the eel. It's a fairly decent sized eel. Uh, I would like to try and dive and give you guys a better look at it but my creature does not want to stay submerged and that's quite annoying these are the stats for the eel so let's not dawdle around let's go to the next creature and show you that one so that would be the spider I do really like the fins I, I just like this creature so much I wish these were tameable Anyways, let's carry on. This is the spider, and do you know what? I like this so much more than the ones in Ark. The ones in Ark have a mouth, like a proper mouth. These have fangs and look more realistic. And for that reason, I really do like it. As you can see, it's got fangs instead of a mouth. I do like that detail. So, same attacks as the spiders in Ark. We've got the web shoot. Uh, I'm guessing it's pretty weak as well. So we've got a bite attack. And that's pretty much it. Doesn't have a lot of stamina. Doesn't run for very long. I'm not sure if this is tameable or not. But yes, interesting creature. Over here we have the Cyclops. Now, this is amazing. What I like about the Cyclops is at night its eye actually glows. Uh, that, that is a thing that I've noticed with most of these creatures. But this one looks freaking amazing. And I like the noise it makes when it walks. Plus the fact that it actually runs with the use of its hand. So let's try and take on this elephant. We'll also test out the attacks. So it's got a left and a right click. And as you can see, it does quite a bit of a knockback. And we've got a shout there, which I don't know what that's supposed to do. Whoa. Back little elephant. Maybe I shouldn't have picked on it because the elephant seems to be taking quite a beating. <laughs> seems like we need to hit it quite a bit to to kill it now and I guess we have to commit to it because we have started it oh it's got the rotation thing nice okay that was a bit further than I expected might as well just go and whack it until it dies out go on then no bad elephant there we go I think it's dead no it's not now it is <laughs> Nice creature, uh, but I'm all... Boy, I'm... St okay, hold on a bit. Nope. Nope. Okay, I think I'm stuck on the dead elephant. <laughs> Excellent. Just the kind of stuff you want. Now, to me, this feels more like a DLC for Ark rather than a game. Um... I mean, I'm guessing that in due time this will change out quite a bit and become its own game, but at this current stage it just feels like a reskinned version of Ark or a sort of DLC that brings uh, a lot of mods that we've played around with in Ark. So, yeah. Some of the textures are nice on the creatures, some are not so nice. Obviously, 
as we go through them, I will mention what I like and what I don't. Obviously, those are personal preferences, and I do expect them to improve as the game progresses. All right. Here we go. That was the Cyclops. Its upper torso looks a bit mutilated, but I can take that. I mean, it is meant to be a fantastical creature. This is the elephant that we just killed before. It's pretty darn fast for something this big. <laughs> it moves its legs pretty fast. So we've got that. We've got... Oh, that's... Uh, I don't know. Do elephants actually do that? I do like the designs on the elephant skin. It does look pretty nice. It makes it look a bit unique. So let's go and put this guy back. And he does climb rocks like a champion. Wow. <laughs> These are the stats for the elephant. So this one is obviously a male. Might as well look at the Cyclops because we didn't do that. <laughs> oh, wow. This thing is pretty darn OP compared to everything else. It's got a saddle. So I'm guessing this one's tameable. All right. Fair enough. Whoop. Can I get through? Yes, I can. Okay. Uh, just check out its eye. It's starting to get darker and it's starting to glow. I do like that detail. Now this is the giraffe that has fur but doesn't really have fur. These are the stats for the giraffe. It looks more like a combination of an antelope and a giraffe. So it's got the body of a giraffe with the horns of an antelope to me. Um, I'm just getting stuck on all sorts of creatures now. I'm trying to do the attacks without actually aggroing anything. So these are the attacks. So that looks quite realistic. That's something I'd expect a giraffe to do. It's got three horns. Okay, sweet. Uh, the uh, the so-called fur, I am not impressed with. We're going to gamble up just a tad bit so people can see the creatures. Can I put you back in place? No, I cannot. Right, maybe if I go around. Am I going to do this? It is pretty fast, actually. Do you know what? It's got long legs. I'll leave it here. And the next creature that I'm going to be looking at is this thing, which looks pretty darn cool. It is the rhino. I do like the way the horn looks, and I do like the scales on the back. So this could have been something they could have put in our as a variation of what we currently have. Uh, it does look amazing. I do like the armadillo scale on the back and I wish these stupid wild creatures would not be around here. Ooh. See, this has been what I've had to deal with and these elephants did aggro on me for no apparent reason and kind of uh, knocked about all of my creatures so I ended up having to respawn some of them in because well, some of them got lost, especially the small ones. Much like the Rhino on Ark, if you do run for longer, it does gain more momentum. I'm not sure if it harvests anything, but we'll see that. So it does do thatch by the looks of it. Oh, hello. Stone and Flint as well. Interesting. Very interesting, that. Right, let's go and put the Rhino back. Actually, I'm going to... See how fast it can go. And I'm out of stamina. Well, you get the idea. It is a decent creature. Um, these are the stats. Uh, it is also a harvesting creature as well. So we'll put you somewhere like so. Now, I am trying to spend as little time on each creature individually just because... I know that there are a lot of creatures in the game that I want to show off. And so this is going to most likely be a long or, or a fairly long video. This is a sheep. Similar to the obvious, slight different. Obviously, this is the mill. It's got the horn, so this is the ram. 
and that's about it. Uh, it just does a headbutt, and that's it. It does seem to climb rocks quite well. These are the stats for the sheep. Obviously, <laughs> not a very sturdy creature. It is a cool looking creature though. I do like it. It does look similar to the Orvis. And this one. This one I really like. See, this could have been an Ark. It's a Gorgon. And that's what it's called. It's a Gorgon. Uh, these are the stats for it. And I'm going to show you its attacks. I do really like this. Obviously, this is not a tameable creature. I don't know why it has a slot for a saddle. Uh, to me, it doesn't look tameable by the position of my character as it rides it. As you can see, I'm just kneeling to one side. Does not make a lot of sense. But this is an amazing creature. This I would like to see an arc most definitely. So I'm going to back up and then we'll do some attacks. So that's one attack. It does that. That, um, that looks pretty cool. Ooh, it spits. Now, I'm assuming it does a Medusa-like uh, thing. I would expect it's got the snakes on its head. That's covering its face. Ooh, that looks so pretty. Ooh, I like that. I really like that. I don't know what it's meant to do. My lord, I do like it. I even like the design of this creature. It looks pretty unique. Might make this my thumbnail. This is amazing. I like it. Oh, I could do that all day. I could watch the animations on that all day. Okay, so that's a spit and a claw attack or scratch attack. I do like that. I'm guessing this would not be a fun creature to bump into. I'm not sure if it does a stun or whatnot, but if I were to make an educated guess, I would say so. Uh, this one is the shield head, sh something like that. It's got a derpy name, but it looks like a trike to me with the tusks of a elephant. It's got some fur on it. It looks pretty interesting. I do like the overall design. I'm just looking at its tail. But this is a nice looking creature. These are the stats for this creature, shield horn. I know it was a shield and a horn or a head or something like that. The, the the word shield was in it. Ooh, that's a big knockback. I might as well finish off this chicken. So it does seem to destroy the foliage, but it does not harvest. That's good to know. Okay, so it's good. Oh, hello. So this is a charge attack, by the looks of it. Ooh, that's pretty fast. Actually, that's quite fast. So, similar build to the trikes on Ark. Um, it just looks a lot cooler, that's all. <laughs> Oh, so that's its running speed. Just to show you the difference of the charge attack. Definitely a lot faster. It looks pretty cool. I like the scales as well. Okay, so let's go and put you back. Next up is the Hydra. So this thing is huge. I'm guessing this probably is not tameable. Um, from what I've seen in other videos, this has five heads, therefore five attacks. I don't know what all the keys are. So I'm going to play around with it and try and see if I can pick out the keys. So those are two attacks, left and right click, uh, and uh, I think it's C, V, and T. They don't seem to work as well as probably intended. That looks pretty cool. And it's a huge, huge creature. You see, Ark 
could definitely use more mythological creatures in its game. I would like to see that. I do like Greek mythological creatures. These are the stats for the Hydra. And... So that's a lightning attack. Difficult to aim with it, but I'm guessing this is not meant to be tamed. Let's take it for a spin really quickly. See if I can actually sync up the attacks to do multi- Ooh, hello. Alright. And I'm playing around with the buttons trying to figure out the attacks. Oop, there we go. I'm trying to get it to use all of its attacks in one go, but it is actually quite difficult. The only one I've not managed to do is the Fire Breath, which it does have, and each head has its own HP. Apparently that's the way to take this thing down, I'm guessing. Oh, that's quite scary. How you're going to do that, I have no clue. I like the lightning attack. That looks pretty cool. I like the animations. Okay. I'm just pressing random buttons to see what the button is for the fire breath, but I'm not getting it. I've tried the right click, but it's not doing it. Okay, well, I just hope it doesn't damage my own creatures. It doesn't seem to do that. Okay. So let's take this guy out for a bit of a spin. Nope, hold on. <laughs> nope. I'm just pressing everything on the keyboard at the moment. Oh dear, no, that's not what I'm meant to do. Uh-oh. Stay there, everybody. I'm just going through every single button on the keyboard, but I'm not getting the fire breath. Oh well. I'll figure it out at some point, maybe. I don't think this one's meant to be tamed anyways. Alright, so let's take this guy out for a bit of a spin. We'll try and attack some stuff and see what's what. It's quite difficult to aim. Okay, I've annoyed a lot of creatures now. <laughs> oh, that's the one I wanted. So it is right click. It just doesn't work every time. <laughs> Let's do that. Okay, well, not all of the uh, attacks work at the same time. There was one missing, but you get the idea. You can use all of the attacks at the same time, kinda, when it works, of course. Oh wow, this would be such a hard creature to take down. There's so many things to look out for. See, this could be a boss or a world boss in our easily. I just need to get rid of all the creatures that I've aggroed. <laughs> I probably won't kill them all, I'll just probably put it back. Because it seems to take some time to kill it everything. Plus aiming with it is such a pain. Okay, we killed one. Yeah, whatever. I'm just going. Oh, it actually does damage with the stomp as well. Interesting. Right, I'm going to go and put this guy back. We're going to look at the next creatures as well. I do like the reptilian movement. I do like that very much. All right. That was cool. That's cool. I like that. <laughs> I like that very much. Um, next creature, we have this thing over here. Uh, I forget what it's called. Uh, it's got a weird name. So the stats on the Hydra are amazing. And apparently it does have a saddle. I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean. Next up, we have the Yeti. Again, I don't know if this thing is tameable, but look at its eyes. Look at its face. It looks pretty darn cool. I like the way the eyes glow, especially in the dark. Looks very much like 
the uh, Yetis uh, in Ark. Somewhat different. Some subtle differences. I do like the more human look. Oh, hello. Level up animation. I have not done that. What about... Um, do you know what? Let's finish looking at this guy. So he throws you. That's to be expected. Okay, interesting. Makes the exact same noise as the uh, Megapithecus or Massapithecus. Uh, I get them always confused from Ark, uh, especially when you mount them. Let's see, do you have a level of animation? Ooh! Ooh, I like that. I really do. One more time. Oh, that just gives me chills. I love it so much. <laughs> Ooh, I really like that. What about you? Okay, so that's the trike animation. To be expected, I guess. You know nothing. Um, probably because you're not tameable. Let's give it another go. Maybe we missed out on something. Nope. What about you? Okay, so that's the sheep animation or the office animation. What about you, sir? Oh, I like that as well. That's pretty cool. <laughs> that's quite cute. I do like that. What about you, Mr. Elephant? Nice. Some of the animations are enjoyable. I do like that. Uh, no animation for you. Okay, that's fair enough. Bear? Okay, that's the arc animation. What about the cow? Okay. Okay, I can take that. What about the bull? Okay. Same as the cow. That makes sense. They are... Of the same species. What about the parrot? Okay. Uh, that, that's that's cute as well. Monkey? Uh, okay. What about you, crocodile? Yeah, you just open your mouth up. That's quite scary. <laughs> Do you have an animation? I'm guessing not because you're not tameable. Nope. Okay, fine. Fair enough. Oh, spider. Let's see about the spider. Nope, nothing on that. Penguin, what do you do? <laughs> That's pretty cute. And? Nah, we can't even access the inventory. What about the vulture? Alright, okay. And what about the scorpion? Nope, nothing there. What about you? Ooh. That was a short one. Uh, and I don't have any more points to give you. Uh, never mind. Chicken, what do you do? Okay, that's, that's okay. What about the crow? I like that. Okay. That's cool, I like that one. Let's see the monkey. Okay. That was pretty boring. Um, Which ones? Oh, ostrich. Pig. Okay. Just be careful with those tusks. You don't want to uh, kill yourself with them. See, this one I don't like. What about this one? Ooh. <laughs> I like this one. What about you, Mr. Wolf? Right, that's the dire wolf animation. That's, that's all right. It's tolerable. I do like the bark. Snake. Nope. Okay, fair, fair enough. Giant snake. 
Okay, fair enough. Turtle. <laughs> that was pretty alright. Proceed. Okay, so that's the Equus animation. Giraffe. Let's see what do you do. Oh. Okay. I think I covered all of the creatures here. What about you? Oh, I can't access your inventory. Never mind. Do you have an animation? Nope. <laughs> nope, you don't. That's the answer. All right. Uh, I did digress there because I forgot about the animations. The next one is this one. It's um, something to do with the feather in its name. I'm not quite sure what it's called. It looks pretty cool, though. A razor tooth. Okay. Oh, not uh, bad. I do like that animation. Now, let's see what you do. This reminds me very much so of a Eutyrannus, and that rock is not normal rock. I'll show you what the crack is with that rock later on. Okay, it definitely reminds me of the Eutyrannus. Uh-oh. Oh dear, go away. I just hope this creature, the feather light, or whatever it's called, uh, feather tooth or something like that, can't take... Okay. So it's doing all right with the with the elephant. Hey, okay. back up. Can definitely take it on. These are the stats for the razor tooth. I keep calling it further something, but it's a razor tooth. Um, let's go and put this guy back. Now that rock, as I said, is a bit special uh, in more ways than one, and I'll show you that when we get to that. Okay. So just looking at the stats. I mean, it seems to be okay. Stats compared to everything else. That would be the eaten animation. Interesting. Okay. And this one is a dragon. As you can see, it has a timer on. So apparently it is tameable by the looks of it. But you have it for a limited time. Where to find it, I do not know. Um, I just spawned it in. So let's see what it does. It does fly, obviously. It's got wings. Does it harvest? It does harvest. Okay, that's good. Fire breath. Interesting. I do like the fact that it leaves fire on the ground when it breathes fire. Very interesting. It is a bit difficult to aim, though. You know, I keep seem, seeming to to miss that big elephant. There we go. I mean, I'm betting this would be a very dangerous creature for anyone to have and use. It seems to do quite a lot of damage. This would be a scary creature. It does look pretty nice. I do like the design of this dragon more than the one in Ark, to be honest. These are the stats for the dragon. And it does harvest quite well as well. So that's what the meat looks like in this game. And as you can see, it is a pretty darn fast flyer as well. Or significantly fast. Okay, let's calm it down a tad bit. Things are a bit bright. Um... We'll land this guy and we'll go to the rock elementals. There are two types of elementals in this game. That would be the rock elemental and I believe the fire elemental. And let's do a animation. Nope, no level up animations. Okay, fair enough. And the next one would be the... So as you can see, that's the timer before... I don't know, I'm guessing you lose it. So it is a temporary tame. And this would be the rock elemental. 
similar in shape and design with the rock golem from Ark. It does also disguise as a rock. Want it decides to do that, but there is a slight catch to it. So as you can see, the rock actually looks like the one from Ark, but you can't undisguise it. Basically, that's it. Once you've chosen to do that with it, that's the way it's going to stay. That's the attack. It does throw stones. And it does also have that spinny attack. And that's about it. I personally prefer the design for the rock golem more than this. I don't understand why it has that horn on one side. I mean, it is a rock and it's meant to be something that's not even, but... I personally like the rock elemental. And so that's the one that is disguised. And to me, if I remember correctly, it does look very similar to, if not identical, to the ones on Ark. Now, let me show you what happens if I try and undisguise it. Nope, not happening. I'm just going through it. That's it. <laughs> that's it. Obviously, I don't think these things are meant to be tamed, if I'm honest. And my parrot loves the... <laughs> the rock golem and over there we have the fire elemental which for some reason wanted to go in that direction now i'm not quite sure why i wanted to do that uh so i just left it to its own devices and i can't seem to mount it which kind of sucks what's going on okay let's see oh right so it wants a saddle um right well i'm gonna have to spawn in another one then so, I'll see you guys in a little bit once I've spawned a brand new um, fire elemental. Okay, here we are with the fire elemental. The camera is a bit off, as you can see. I'm going to try and zoom out so you guys can get a good look at this guy. He does look pretty cool. I do like that. They need to work on the camera angle if this thing is tameable, but it does have apparently a saddle or needs a saddle to ride it. These are the attacks. Uh, the fireball attack, well, not very easy to aim with. It just, yeah. See? It's trying to hit that elephant, but it just goes wherever it wants to. Well, it just goes straight forward. That's it. And it doesn't turn on the spot. You need to move around to turn it. Let's see if I can hit this guy. Nope. That ain't happening. <laughs> Very difficult to aim with this guy. It does seem to do a decent amount of damage, and oh, that is noisy as all hell. Yep, very noisy. Come on, out. So the fire elemental is noisy when it takes damage. Actually, a bit too noisy. Let's go and put this guy here, and and so hopefully, I hope this guy does not wander off. So, I think I'm going to go and place him somewhere around here. Maybe that'll look okay. And I just got thrown off it, and there it goes. So, that's what happened with the previous fire elemental. I guess that's where it wants to be at this time. Anyways... And finally, the last one is uh, this creature. It's something to do with leather. Uh, but it does look like the Pteranodon or Pterodon from Ark. It's got the same moves. Leatherwing, that's the one. Uh, those were the stats for the Leatherwing. This is a flyer that can be found in the game. Obviously, if you go into first person, the feathers on its head do get in the way. And to me, its butt looks very insect-like. Otherwise, it does look quite good. It looks better than the uh, Pteranodon or Pterodon. However, way it's pronounced correctly, I, I call it a Pteranodon, but whatever. Probably butchering the name. Oh, it does have the ability to pick up creatures, so let's see if we can do that. Oh, that's quite nice. That's a nice ability. Yeah. 
noisy in flight. It does do the spin attack. Just like the terror. And that lower end of the butt to me looks like what I'd expect to see on a spider or a ant. But it does fit with the creature actually in terms of design. So I think this is it. Now I did have to spawn this bird, the leather wing, back in because I know I had it but it seems to have disappeared since. And that is all the creatures that I could get to spawn in for you without them dying. I do hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please do not forget to support me on the channel by hitting that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you want more similar content from myself and if you are new. And if you have just subscribed, don't forget to hit that bell icon so that you get notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you have just subscribed, why not check out some of my other videos here on the channel? Who knows? You might just enjoy them. And for those interested, you can always find me on the Sethtopia Discord. Links to this, of course, can be found down below in the video description as well as in a pinned comment. Until next time, stay safe, folks.